In the following video, we will show how to insert a nasogastric tube to an infant by using a doll. Nurse starts preparing the procedure by disinfecting hands and also the table where all the needed equipment is gathered. Aseptics is really important and therefore hand disinfectant is used multiple times during this procedure. Equipment needed. This is not a sterile procedure, therefore factory clean gloves are used. Hand disinfectant, protective cloth for the baby, a nasogastric tube size 6, liquid glucose in an oral syringe, a pacifier to keep the baby calm and as well to help to achieve swallowing reflex skin tape, scissors, and a cup of water. To check the correct placement of the nasogastric tube, the following items are needed. pH indication strips, a syringe, and an empty cup. Baby is then placed in an upward position by the assisting nurse, head side tilted slightly up. Baby is then wrapped securely into a blanket. Liquid glucose should be given already before a procedure to help the baby remain calm. Nurse inserting the nasogastric tube opens the nasogastric tube package. Disinfects hands and puts on factory clean gloves. The correct length of the nasogastric tube is measured twice the length from earlobe to the tip of the nose, plus 4 cm. Correct length is then marked with a marker. Nurse takes a firm grip of the nasogastric tube and dips the other end into the water cup for lubrication. Assisting nurse who is holding the baby will give liquid glucose drops when needed during the procedure. The nurse inserting the nasogastric tube starts to insert the tube gently but in a determined manner in forward-downward direction until the marking on the tube reaches nostrils. Insertion should take the minimum amount of time to avoid discomfort for the baby. Nurses must always monitor the baby during procedure. If breathing gets difficult or baby's color turn blue, nasogastric tube must be removed immediately. Before securing the tube with a tape, a correct placement of the tube is always checked. Assisting nurse holds the tube in its place while the other nurse checks the correct placement using at least two different methods. Methods used are Take a syringe and draw stomach content into it. Put few drops on the pH indication strip. pH should be less than 5.5 if in the correct place. Other way to check the correct placement is to dip other end of the tube into a water cup to see if any air bubbles appear. In that case, there is a chance of tube being in a wrong place. For babies, X-ray is avoided and used only as the last resort due to the high radiation. Assisting nurse is holding firmly the tube in its place while other nurse secures the tape on baby's face. 
tape is cut into a right form and length already prior the procedure, making sure that it is long enough and not blocking the airways on the nostrils.